Hello everyone. Today we can discuss about the programmable logic devices, basic concepts, as well as problem one problem in pro programmable array logic and another one problem in programmable logic array. In the subject digital principles and system design. So first, what is programmable logic device? So uh, there are uh, two types of programmable logic devices. So fixed and combinational. So this uh, what we are going to discuss today about a combination of uh, PLDs. So the PROM is a, and the first one, the PROM is a combinational programmable logic device. Normally we are calling programmable logic device means it is nothing but PROM. So it is an IC with programmable gates divided into an ANT array, as you have seen in the block diagram, ANT array and an OR array to provide an ANT or sum of product implementation, that is SOP implementation. So the major types of combinational PLDs are programmable read-only memory, programmable array logic and programmable logic array okay so first what is programmable read only memory so if it's, it has a fixed ant array constructed as a decoder and a programmable or array so the programmable or gates implement the boolean function in the sum of min terms and second one is programmable array logic pal so it has programmable ant array and a fixed or array so the they implement the boolean function in sum of product form and gates are programmed to give the product terms which are logically summed in each or gate third one is programmable logic array so it is a most flexible programmable logic device both the ant and or gates or arrays can be programmed so programmable ant array programmable or array the product terms in the ant array may be shared by any or gate to provide the required SOP implementation. So the PLDs can uh, implement a wide variety of logic function. So commonly we are using PAL and PLA for the implementation purpose. So the, we can see one example. It is given with a, a sum of product form expression F1 is equal to AB dash plus AC plus A dash B C dash, C dash and F2 equal to A C plus B C the whole dash. So they have given directly the uh, SOP form. If it is not given, if it is given a sum uh, like a min terms, you should go with the uh, simplification using KMAP and you have to form this form. Okay. So here, see this, how to implement this is, uh, so the A B dash A C A dash B C dash A C plus B C the whole dash. So the the table consists of first is this the so what are the sum of product terms? So common product terms you should take it as one term only. So A C here see this A C and A C both are present uh, in both the uh, uh, SOP. So it is taken once. Okay, so A, B dash, A, C, A dash, B, C dash and B, C are the uh, terms. Okay, so that is nothing but the product terms. So the product terms are written first. Then the inputs A, B, C and the outputs. Uh, there are two outputs. So F1, F2. So it, so how it is to represent is. So this, uh, this A, B dash. So B dash represents 0. So B dash represents 0. A represents 1. And the other one term is not present. So put it as a dash. So similarly, express for all the product terms. For, so four product terms you have uh, explained here. And the outputs. So what are the min terms it is covering? Uh, so see this A, B dash. Yeah, A, C is covering in F1 and F2. But A, B dash is covering in only F1. So it will be 1. The other will be dash like this you should mention all the outputs okay so the, this is nothing but the pla programming table consisting of all the product terms the inputs as well as the outputs and how to draw implement it is uh, so listen as we have discussed programmable logic array you are having the uh, fit set or gate and a programmable or and gate. So, pro and gates are programmed. So, A, B, C are the inputs and e, A dash, B dash, it's a buffer. So, if, uh, it is nothing but the buffer. So, it will be having uh, A dash, B, B, this represents B dash, this represents A dash and this represents C dash. So, remaining A, B, C. 
what are the terms a b dash so a and b dash are program so a and b dash are program like this wherever it is programmed it will be intact with fuses so all are programmed so programmable and array and uh, the outputs are given to the or gate so or gate see this one 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 right one was of uh, the either it's a bc is not present so it's a bc is not present here and the first one has the first min term and the last min term are present remaining all are programmed so what is the next thing it is given because it is having the whole dash here so it is implemented with the complement form and it, the output will be taken as f1 and f2 okay so that is one example for programmable logic array so another one example with the min terms if it is given with the min terms you should uh, first simplify it using kmap and you have found out f1, f2. And here also, see this, you have the complement version of that output. So, a dash, b dash, a dash, e dash, b dash. So, these two are the complements. So, you are going to take complement here. You are going to apply complement here, f1 dash. Similarly, you are going to take a f2 dash. Now, see this, a, b a, C are common. So, A, B and A, C. A, B and A, C are common. B, C and A dash, B dash, C dash are separate. Okay. F1 dash you have taken and F2 you have taken. So, C are uh, the same procedure you have to follow for implementation. But here you can see 0, 1, 0, 1 represents because we have taken dash uh, consider dash for f1 so it is given with one here and we are considered uh, we didn't consider that uh, dash term so just zero that will be considered to be the f2 this is the why how we, we are going to implement the programmable logic array so hope you have understood thank you